Hello everyone, happy Monday. My name is Kit Evans. I am the founder of TestimoniesofHope.org. Just wanted to do a Monday check-in to let you all know how things are moving forward with our community, TestimoniesofHope.org. Our first full week, we got over 2,000 uh, website visits, which is really amazing. So please continue to share TestimoniesofHope.org with your friends and family. We got over 1,000 uh, Facebook visits, which is amazing. And we also want to continue to share our, our Twitter presence. So please add us at Testimonies Hope. We're really, really excited. This week, we'll be having Hope Writer Devotionals and Hope Artist Reflections from St. Kitts, Atlanta, Georgia, North Carolina, some music from South Africa. So we're really, really excited excited. Um, we're also uh, are getting more hope translators, which is really amazing. I uh, got, a, got a few translators from different parts of Africa now. also have a German translator and a couple French translators. So we're really, really excited. Um, if you're interested in becoming a hope writer, a hope artist, and or hope translator, please email us at info at testimoniesofhope.org. We cannot do this without you and the community. And so please, 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 if you're willing uh, to share and help out in any way, uh, we need volunteers and also uh, writers and artists and translators. So please email us. Today I wanted to share um, a Bible verse connected to our mission. First um, Peter Chapter 3, verse 15 reads, But in your hearts, sanctify Christ as Lord. Always be ready to make your defense to anyone who demands from you an accounting for the hope that is in you. Yet, do it with gentleness and reverence. The word of the Lord. And so within this context, Christians were going through a lot. Christians within that context were seen by the surrounding culture. They view Christians with suspicion and hostility. And so within this context, Christians were treated bad. They were looked at with suspicion. They were judged. In, in many cases, they were hurt. And so Christians had to go through a lot of different things as it relates to suffering. In addition to their everyday lives uh, connected to family, finances, and, and other things. And so when I think about this community, I think about the hope artists and the hope writers who have shared so far and the intense realities that happen in their lives and also in, in, in you, the community's lives, and how this, this scripture gives us hope. Even though they were suffering and going through these th different things, there was this hope, this desire of expectation that regardless of what you're going through, with the help of God, with the help of community, with the help of these things that help and allow us to heal, we can get through it. We can overcome and we can hold on to that hope and that peace that surpasses all understanding. And for us, that's Jesus Christ. And so today I encourage you with the scripture embrace and encourage and and hold on to that desire of expectation that hope um, and so that's why we're in community to encourage each other so just wanted to share that scripture with you first peter chapter 3 verse 15 uh, thank you for being here god bless you and we'll see you next monday continue to come each day we appreciate you being a part of the community at testimoniesofhope.org take good care god bless peace